Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, episode 2 of my new full release Let's Play. Looks like I am working on Dino Quest. It's about 70% done, and more importantly, working on QA. I would argue QA is probably the most important research you can do in the game. Yeah, yeah, no QA. I mean, marketing is important, console development is important, production is important, you know, but I would say QA is the most important thing gun to my head i think it is at any rate dino quest so there's 19 bugs do i want to try to get the bugs out i'm just going to put this out i think um i just got to remember to <laughs> put a patch out to get rid of the bugs like i did with pets are fun which has made sixty thousand dollars which is a decent profit at this point so search publisher um we will go with now Obviously, I'm going to go with Data West or Hudson. It's a This is a puzzle game, right? So I'm thinking Hudson because their fan base is puzzle. But I do have a relationship with Data West. So it's kind of half dozen one. You know, let's go with Hudson. Relationship's not that important. Now, once we get, at some point, probably this episode, relationship will become important. Um, and we'll talk about that when the time comes. But for now, let's just get this game out. Hopefully it's decent. Yeah, I'll, I consider 64% decent. And then we will immediately do a free update for it. Max that out. Get rid of all the bugs. We already put all the languages in. Pretty cheap, $6,000. We are now a garage company. We got half a star. Perfect. We got some commission work here. So we can make a little bit of money. Actually, that's that's a lot of money. Like, literally. I have 68000 in the bank. <laughs> These two commission works are worth more than that. So that's good. Ooh, Dino Quest is selling extremely well. All right. We are officially over the hump. We are over the early game hump where, you know, things are a bit of a struggle. I think. I think I'm over the hump anyway. All right. So that research is done. Um, well, I got 200000 in the bank now. So, yeah, because Dino Quest is selling extremely well. I'm not sure why. That's, I mean, oh, the fans? Is this the first game since we got those fans? Maybe. All right, so we got B+. Plus. We got support, training room. Actually, let's do let's do subtopic. It's only 30000 Just because I have 200000 in the bank doesn't mean I want to just immediately blow that money, right? I want to hold on to it if possible. All right, so. Um, we can't do an engine yet, right? We don't have any features. Correct. That's got to be coming soon, I think. All right, so let's get QA. Let's get a QA room. Now, the question is, am I going to want to expand this room? I feel like I am. I feel like I'm at the point where I can do it. So there was eight desks in here. I'd like to get at least 10, if not 12 desks. That's 13. That's perfect. All right, so let's get a QA room. Now, the question is, do I want to put the QA room, the entire rest of this, or do I want to leave space for a marketing team? Because it is, I believe it's two million for the smallest building. Ooh, wow, six point six. Um, I thought there was a two million. This one, yes, two point one million. What about this one? Six point. Okay, is it just me? Like this does not look that much bigger than that. Now I realize it is. It doesn't look that much bigger, right? 8 million, like, that looks much bigger than that. I don't know. I don't know how the price scales exactly. This one's going to be a lot, probably. 70, yeah, 70 million. But that's fine. We're not going to be buying the 70 million one anytime soon. Like, this one, like this, 6.5. To me, this looks bigger than this. Is that just me? It says it's 209. It says this one's 206, but... I don't know. Maybe maybe my spatial <laughs> awareness is off. All right. So what are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many desks will this be is the question. That looks like nine desks. Nine desks is enough for now. Now, the question is, <laughs> are there any game testers out there? There is one game tester, and they have the unlucky traits, so I don't even want them. That's unfortunate. Um, 
me what I can do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my main development team up here. I'm going to do game reports for all this. And we can use this information to make better games going forward. I think that's the play. Until we can get some actual QA people. So that took away a lot of that money I had banked, but that's fine. I'm confident that I can make profitable games at this point, right? Which is important. So let's grab, let's say, airplanes. You know what? Let's not do A stuff. I always research the A stuff first because it's at the top, right? Like, let's do skeletons, for example. Why not? Skeletons is a pretty well-rounded topic that we can use for a few things. See, this is why marketing is important. Because if, when you have a marketing team, you can search for people of a certain profession. Like, we could search for game testers. That would be nice right now. Be very, very nice. Um, we could just get like fantasy. Fantasy is a good all around, right? You can use fantasy for pretty much any genre or the vast majority of genres, at least. Dino Quest was too short. That's good. That's good information, though, right? So I don't, and I don't need to remember that. That will be in the fan letters. Um, is sports coming soon? Not really. All right. Did I win any awards? I did not, but I did not, I did not make the worst game of the year, or did I make that one? <laughs> oh, well, at any rate, what we need is some game testers. Uh, I just, unlucky is such a bad trade, and this one's not a great trade either. Ooh, speaking of wisps, so this, they take breaks during crunch times. Um, I haven't talked about crunch time yet, and I haven't altered the settings, so... I allow my people to take some breaks. Could be many breaks, could be few, we'll stick with some. Pressure, we'll just stick with medium pressure. Motivation recharge. So this basically means when their motivation gets down to 40%, they go on break. Um, I'm going to move that up to 50. So technically people actually take more breaks. That's fine. And this is crunch time. So basically what crunch time is in this game, once the product, whatever it is, could be research, could be a game, could be whatever. Once it's 90% done, People aren't allowed to go on a break anymore unless they have the stress averse trait. But I don't like doing crunch time. I always put this up to 95. I don't like to force people into crunch, right? Or at least keep the crunch at a minimum. And I'm going to click this so that the cleaning robots can't leave their buildings. I don't even have a cleaning robot left yet. I should get one before I need it. So there's a cleaning robot. So we will clean any messes in here. All right, I do need to get another game out, though. Uh, hmm. Do I want to? Ooh, it's the holiday season, though. That'll help. That'll help sales. Yeah, it helped a little bit. <laughs> eh, let's grab Bicycle. In case we want to make another racing game. Gives us another racing game topic, which is nice. As long as it's going to be the trend for 11 more weeks. So the trend is going to change relatively soon. I don't quest is too easy. Again, this is all just information that we can use going forward. Magic. Magic seems like a good all-around... Topic. All right, so we're on our last uh, game report, which is good. And we're done. Okay. So let's move all these people back. I mean, obviously, that took a long time because they're not game testers. We're going to do this stuff to uh, make some more money. And a hey, game tester. You know what? I'm going to hire this one as well. Probably, do, probably if I was going <laughs> to... I was going to give in and hire that person. I probably should have done it a while ago, but oh well. Actually, we might not finish this in time. And eh, well, not the end of the world if we don't. And let's grab robots. Actually, I want a couple more people in my main development room at this point. What do we got for game designers? Ooh, we got unlucky. Um, we got a person who doesn't do... So we got a person who's lucky and their uh, leadership, but I think I already have a leader. We got somebody who doesn't make bugs, which isn't as important now that I have QA, but still nice. We got an all-rounder, and we got somebody who's efficient and lucky. Those are good traits. So we got all kinds of people in here now, so we can make games extremely quickly now. Um, yeah, we got all kinds of money in the bank. But, uh, let's grab marketing. Marketing is nice. 
Not quite as important as QA, but it's up there. All right, so pets are fun is off the market. Yeah, so once we get these two um, done, ooh, we got 2D line graphics. We can finally make our own. Um, need more game testers. Finally make our own engines. Give me more game testers, please. <laughs> Pretty please. All right, so let's make... I mean, I could do a racing game, but racing games, it's, it's hard to make a decent racing game. Honestly. Uh, we'll go all. I'm pretty sure all works for that. And we will call this... Cars. Let's go Midnight Cars. Here. Um, we could throw a subtopic in. No, that's fine. We don't have enough topics really for that yet. No engine yet. We will get next. Our next game will have an engine. Go to tab one and oh, there is some dev kits. We got the Commander Pete. Let's do that. Nice. Turn on all the languages. All right. So we know that wrong, 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 wrong. These are all wrong. All these red ones. And we don't have fan letters because this is we have we made a racing game, but it was a contract game, so we don't get the fan letters, right? So we know these are all wrong. <laughs> Which way they're supposed to go? I don't know. But I'm gonna move them since we don't know. Um beginner friendliness, sure. Innovation up. Let's go depth and length down, maybe. Level design up. Mission design up. We'll go character design down. Story down. We'll go casual. And I don't know. We'll try that. I I could be moving those in the wrong direction. It's it's possible. And our QA is unfortunately still working on that contract work. Give me more game testers, please. Jeez, Louise. You're being stingy with the game testers. Ooh, 30 to 50. Continue development. What is this? Infinity? This is new. This didn't used to pop up. Continue development until I say it's ready, essentially. All right, so bug fixing. <laughs> I need my QA team to be bigger. Until they are, games are not going to be very good. Um, so yeah, let's just put, this is not a good game. <laughs> this is just straight up not a good game. Because we don't know where the sliders go, amongst other things. And it's, it's hard to make racing games. I forget why, but I know that's a lesson I've learned <laughs> from past games. All right, so game report. Midnight cars. As long as we get our money back. All right, spin off. Secrets. We got some research to do. Yeah, we need to get, um, can we bang out a quick contract game here? Oh, yeah. Let's just put this one out really quickly. Um, that's... No, we don't want to... Magic? Sure. Gold quest? That works. Teenagers? You know what? I think all works for skills. So let's do all. I just want to give my team something to do. <laughs> right? Basically. Let's just copy those settings. Even though they're mostly wrong, <laughs> that's fine. I just want, like I said, I just want to give this team something to do. Um, improve gameplay. Sure. While we get this research done, this engine feature, we can start making our own engines. All right, we got a game developer, legend, graphic artist. Now, legendary developers are interesting. High skill, right? And they have the star designer. They create hypes for games they work on. Up to 50 hype. Which is good at this point in the game. But once I get marketing, that's going to be less important. And I'm going to have marketing soon. But here's the problem. They do cost a lot. Like, it's like five times a regular developer. But you don't have to pay to train them. I would argue at this point in the game, it's worth having. Later on, not so much. I mean, they're a bit of a noob trap, honestly. And hand over the game till we're done. We'll get rid of the bugs. Uh, but this is a contract game. I probably should just get it out. <laughs> but I want to... There is an achievement. 
as well. So I wanted to get the achievement. All right, 74%. So if I can make my own game at 74%, we'll be laughing. All right, so let's get an engine here. Racing is the trend, but I don't want to make a racing game. I want to make a skill game. So we're going to make this engine for skill games in particular. Uh, we will do the Chapel one for now, I guess. I'm just going to call this a skill engine. I know. My engine names are not very imaginative. We're going to sell this cheaply. 5,000 with the 3% profit sharing. I'm not sure how many people are going to you know, buy the engine at this point, but hey, if we get any, I'm calling it a win. Game report. Yeah, let's do gold quest. Still no game testers. All right. And no office workers. I need office workers. So I have this marketing team now. It doesn't do me any good if I don't have any office workers, right? Um, yeah, well, that just stayed up all my money. So, <laughs> blast through this commission work really quick here. And let's use my research team <laughs> to do some marketing. Employee search, game tester, efficient, repeat, yes, please. It's going it's to take a while because, like I said, these people are not, they're, they're my researchers. I hate this trait. Untalented. They learn more slowly. I'm going to pass on you, unfortunately. All right. Develop a game. New PC game. Skill. Topic. We'll go... Magic. Dungeons. Let's go Dungeons. We're, we've done three Dungeons games. We're getting pretty familiar with those. And we will go call this Dungeon Diver. Sounds good. Ooh, we can do this for three on three platforms now. So let's also grab the Astro Arcade. So we will go tap one, Astro Arcade, and the Commander Pete. Not the Paratech. Um, I mean, it has less users, but also this here, this yellow means it takes longer. So there's green, yellow, or red. Um, and if it's yellow or red, that's complexity. It takes longer to make the game. So you want to stay away from those if possible, right? These three are all green, so that works. So we're not pros with this feature yet, but that is fine. All right, and let's just copy. Uh, let's copy Gold Quest. Yeah, that's one we just did, right? Yeah. Although, <laughs> those are not right. So let's look. Uh, pets are fun. That was my skill game. Let's pin the span letter. All right. Too short, so they want more length. More beginner friendly. Even more beginner friendliness. Oh, wow. Too much for core. Oh, better mission design. Too much violence. Too easy. All right. So we got to take away three points. Let's go story. Let's go character design. Let's try depth. We'll try that. See what happens. Turn on everything here. We got secrets in there as well now. And then with our very small QA team, we we're going to improve the gameplay four times. I thought I told them to automatic repeat this. Why didn't they repeat that? Is it because I didn't hire the person? Okay, again, they didn't repeat. Is this a bug or is it because I have not actual office workers I just noticed <laughs> that uh, I have minus $77,000 in the bank that could be problematic maybe that's why maybe that's why it's not automatically repeating because I don't have enough people or I don't have enough money sorry <laughs> so this game better be good or I'm going to have to take out another loan 60 to 80 we're going to continue development just until the bugs are gone. Still 60 to 80, but probably be a couple points higher. Um, actually, let's do some special marketing for Dungeon Diver. Dungeon Diver, let's do a beta demo. Ooh, pre release for the press is 25 grand. 
okay, so <laughs> I may have hired two people too fast, too many people too fast. Yeah, I need to just get this game out, I think. Yeah, all right, so hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's close to 80. If not, I'm in danger. All right, it is. All right, so now we have more options. Um, you'll notice I'm going to pick Teidu, and here's why. And here's where relationship starts to matter. You'll notice, generally speaking, for market strength is a $10 payment. Free market strength is an $11 payment. Teidu, on the other hand, is for market strength with $11 payments. They're just like a step above all the other publishers. So we want to go with Teidu as much as possible. And once you have five hearts with a single publisher, you can sign an exclusive publisher contract where you get even more. So that's what we're hoping to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to take out a loan just to make another game here. But we're all, we almost just hit 80%. If I had done the pre-release for the press, that is 3% to of my review score, that would have been an 80% game. So maybe I should have done it. But I'm a little gun shy because I'm completely broke. All right, so at least I have positive money again, which is important. All right, I need to get some games out so that I have steady income. So let's see if I can make a... Uh, want to do another racing game? So let's do a puzzle game. This puzzle game made a lot of money, but it was the trend at the time. I don't think I have anything worth making a sequel for. You know, Dino Quest is almost off the market. Let's do a sequel to Dino Quest. It gets me 25 hype right out of the gate, which is nice. Right? Ooh, I don't have... Mm, let's make a puzzle engine. Let's make a puzzle engine for that. No, not update old engine. Develop new engine. Puzzle. Um, yeah, this is still the biggest one. Just, I know, I know the Tapple 1 isn't going to last long. Right? It gets outclassed. The Tapple 2 should be out relatively soon all right and we're doing the game report there let's grab this checkpoints i need uh some marketing people here's one it's a start i guess i can use that one to find more <laughs> in theory but yeah i feel like it's maybe a little early for that all right. Oh, I, do I need? To, mm. Oh, this commission work is too good. I can't. I can't not do it. it. It pays too much. Did you see how much that commission work paid? Like that's that's a no brainer. Eighty eighty thousand, ninety thousand. That's a lot of money right now. I need to pay off my loans. <laughs> right. So. Yeah, so, okay, so there's the Tapple 2, and it is repeating successfully. So I'm going to assume it wasn't repeating successfully earlier because I had no money. <laughs> there are too few plants in somebody's area, so let's grab some plants. Where are the plants? I'm not sure who it was, but I'm just going to make sure every room has a plant, including the bathroom. There. And the break room, maybe. There. They can't say that anymore. Or they shouldn't be able to, at least. All right, so we finally got some office workers. We got some money rolling in. Dungeon Diver is selling fairly well. Okay, things are starting to round into shape now. And now we can, after this, we can start looking for QA people instead. Ooh, lucky and efficient. That's good. All right, so let's see if we can fill up our QA room a little bit here. Um, I'm going to go lucky instead of efficient. We actually, you know what? Let's go talented. Learning faster. Getting that from your employees this early in the game is pretty nice. And, hey, they got lucky as well. And since they're not doing anything, I'm going to put a few of them in this room to help out with the... Uh, the work they're doing there, the contract work. Uh, unlucky, we're going to pass on you. All right, so five plus three. Yeah, so this is the last one we need. Let's go large booth. I'm spending money like I have it right now. I, I need to get out of debt <laughs> in the near future. 
but that's a lot more fans. It's basically doubled my fans. Um, okay, so we have a lot of hype with these because our publisher has been hyping for us, which is nice. All right, so basically we're just waiting to get through this contract work, but it's too valuable not to do. And we did research RPGs as well. So we have that. Now we can start doing this automatically. Let's get through them. Lots of contract work rolling in, it seems. Got a game developer, legend, sound artist. We're going to pass on them, I believe. Yeah, we got money in the bank now, which is good. It's very important to have money in the bank. <laughs> All right. Commission work is finally done. So I am going to make sequel right wasn't that the plan to make a sequel dino quest 2 was the plan <laughs> size b is the definitely the play um puzzle engine astro arcade apple commander pete is uh, oh tapple 2 no we want the tapple 2 uh tapple 2 instead of the arcade yeah that'll reach the most the maximum number of people that we can reach right now. All right, so we know, oh wow, we know where a lot of these sliders are supposed to go. We gotta take away three points though. Yeah, why do we have character design up so high? I'm pretty sure character design probably goes down here somewhere. I'm pretty sure mission design is important for puzzle. Uh, Dino Quest. In the fan letter, more beginner friendly. Too much for core, too much violence, too easy. Try that. Wait, hold up, hold up. Let's go back. Why is Dino Quest a puzzle game? Shouldn't Dino Quest be an adventure game? Why is it a puzzle game? Did I forget to change it? At any rate, we're just going to go with this. But this is wrong. That's not supposed to be like that. It's 50, 10, 10, 30. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There we go. That's better. So all seven of these things matter. Secrets is very important for puzzle, which is nice. So I'm expecting this to be over 70% review score. Especially once we get a little gameplay improvement. We're not going to do all the expensive ones yet. We are going to do special marketing. Or that 25 pipe. Let's just do some normal marketing. For that. Let's do a radio spot. That's 50. 50k is a lot of money right now. But I think this game is going to make a lot of money. I'm pretty confident. Midnight Cars, on the other hand, did not make a lot of money. But it made some money. Which is fine. As long as it made some money. All right, so special marketing. Uh, beta demo, yes. And if we're going to do a pre-release of the press. We're going to continue development. Infinity, until I tell you otherwise. Pre-release for the press. So this can do plus or minus 3% to your review score. But unless I've never seen it do anything but plus, honestly. Um, yeah, let's just continue development until... We get the result for the pre-release for the press. And sure enough, plus 3% review score. It's finished development, and I'm expecting this to be close to 80%. I think. I hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> now, the fact that Taidu wants to publish it is usually a good sign. Plus their fan base is puzzle, which is nice. So this should be good. There we go. 78%. As predicted, an excellent game. And that is going to do it for this episode where money's getting low again, but I think this game is going to do very well. And we're going to be fine and we're going to be able to pay off our debt soon. And then we can start looking, saving some money for more property, right? Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.